Uh, my name is Joey Tardoslovich, and I play outfield and first base, and I play for Aguilas de Mexicali. Honestly, I, I can't even remember. Uh, I mean, since I can remember, I've been playing baseball with my dad and, and brother growing up, and we were, every day we were at the field. Uh, I can't even, I can't remember a day where we weren't uh, at the baseball field together. Well, I've played all the positions. I've played third, short, second. You know, I didn't start playing first base until professional baseball, but catcher, uh, pitcher, outfield. So, I mean, I've played it all. Um, but I, ma majority of the time growing up, I was pitcher and, and shortstop. Uh, I mean, in, in travel ball, I was, uh, I was on the Sarasota Bombers, the Sarasota Cobras, uh, the Sarasota Predators. Um, I played on a team in Georgia, the East Cobb Aztecs. There's just a, a lot of teams growing up, a lot of different travel ball teams and Little League teams. And uh, I was a Yankees fan growing up, and my favorite player that I got to watch was Tino Martinez. Uh, he's the first baseman for the Yankees in the 90s. Um, Chipper Jones with the Braves, uh, Mariano Rivera, El Duque, um, but I was a big Yankees fan growing up. You know, when I got the call that I got drafted, uh, I had expected to, uh, after my, my year in college, to be drafted, but uh, even when you're expecting it, when you finally get the call of, of what team drafts you and where you're going and, and signing your first contract, it's, it's special, it's, it's something you've worked your whole life for. And it's a game that we play growing up and, and it becomes a profession, but at the same time, it's still a game. And every level that you move up, you're one step closer to your dream of playing in the big leagues. And that was just one step in my career. Uh, it was very exciting for me and my family. It was a special moment. You know, when you're a kid, you can hit all day and you have all the energy in the world. And uh, as you get older and, and you become a professional and you put the seasons together and you have the long seasons playing every day, um, every year you learn your body and you just, you, you work smarter. You know, even now I, I make uh, adjustments in my off season and, and how I do things to make sure that my body is as healthy as it can be to, to be able to play every day. When you become a professional, you play every day, so you can't, you can't get too high and you can't get too low. You know, in high school you play one game a week, in college you play three games a week, you have some days off and you have some time to process and, and, and get back to, you know, a good mentality. But in baseball, uh, in professional baseball, it's, it's every day. And you have to be able to erase a bad game or a bad at bat or, you know, and, and, and at the same time when you have good games, um, you know, that doesn't mean that the next day is going to be a good day. So you kind of have to just stay on an even keel and, and just take it day by day. And, and that's a cliche saying that a lot of people use, but in professional baseball, it's very important. I mean, you play every day. You can't take one at bat into the next at bat. You can't take one game into the next game. And I, and I think that's the, the biggest thing that has helped me is to learn that, you know, flush it, you know, take the information that you learned and, and, and move on to the next day and, and just try to get better every day. Uh, I mean, getting called up to the big leagues was pretty special. Um, when I got that call, I wasn't, I mean, I had been playing very well, but I just wasn't really expecting it. Uh, I got called up to the Braves and they were playing really well. And when my manager called me in the office in, in AAA and told me that I was going to the big leagues, it was, it was a very special moment. So you know, I called my dad and he was able to fly out to Philadelphia and, and be there for my first hit and um, seeing him in the stands after I got my first hit, that was, that was the most special moment of my baseball career. Uh, when I was with the Braves after that season in, in the big leagues, they, they wanted me to go play in the Dominican Republic uh, and, and basically chose that, that, the Toros for me to go play there. And to describe to somebody about baseball in any winter ball that I've ever been, Mexico or Dominican, um, it's, it's the fans, they're, they're very passionate. Uh, you know, they're selling out every game and it's loud. Every inning, in between innings, I mean, there's no let up and, and they're, you know, they're true fans 
and they know everything, they know every player, and uh, it's, it's, it's special to them. And, and that was the biggest thing for me. And, and my takeaway from winter ball is that uh, people go to games in the United States and, and, and they enjoy them and they leave, you know, they leave early uh, and, and if their team's not winning. You're, you're in winter ball, the, the fans are there to the very end and, and they truly love it. And that was the biggest difference for me going to play winter ball. I knew that the weather was nice, you know, there's not humidity. I, I'm from Florida, so, you know, I grew up with humidity. The, the weather's nice here. I hear it's getting cold here soon. I've heard that it's a very nice city. It's a quiet city and um, beautiful stadium, great fans. So I was just, when I, when I had the opportunity to come here and play, uh, I was very excited because of all those reasons. Uh, you know, a, a, a great tradition here. I mean, when they when they made the offer for me to come here and play, I I, I took it. I mean, you come into a, a, an atmosphere. I mean, it's a it's a veteran team. You come in, you, you want to just you, you want to do your job and you want to help the team win. And when you get here and the and the team's playing well and, and we're putting together a win streak, uh, it's been awesome. I'm having a great time. You know, the fans have been great. And the one thing we want to do here is obviously we all want to do well, but we want to win. And to come in here and win four, five, six games in a row, is, is, it's been awesome. And uh, we're going to keep riding this and we're going to keep playing well. And, you know, there's a great clubhouse of guys in there and, and coaching staff, and it's, it's been awesome. I play hard every day, and, and, and I play every day. I, I show up, I, I play the game the right way, I, I give it my all. And um, and I want to win, and that's my that's the number one thing on my mind is is winning games. And if anything that I can do to help the team win, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if I have to move a runner, if I have to dive for a ball, if I have to take the extra base, um, I'm just here to help the team win and 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 be the best teammate that I can be, and and be the best player I can be for for whoever I'm playing for. Uh, I mean, it was unexpected. Um, from the time I got here, guys have been working hard and, and, and working their butts off. And you start seeing that in the game. And not just me. I mean, there's a lot of guys that had great series in Guadalajara. And our pitchers pitched great. Uh, and for me to be able to get the player of the week, that took guys getting on base and in front of me to be able to drive in runs. and. Um, guys working hard and guys getting bunts down and, and guys having good at bats and it's not just one guy it's it's uh, it's a team effort every week um, I mean we've been playing some really good baseball and, and that's contagious you know one guy starts hitting another guy starts hitting and next thing you know you got a lineup full of guys and putting together good at bats and, and just trying to win ball games and you see what you're seeing now in, in what we're doing. We're pitching well, we're playing good defense, we're hitting the ball well, and, and we're just having good at bats. And it's, it's, it's fun, you know, it's something that we want to keep going. Uh, I'm just excited to be here and, and excited to, to play as hard as I can every day for, for the fans and my teammates uh, every day. And we look forward to, to the support of the fans um, for this final push to make the playoffs and, and play deep into the playoffs. And, you know, we need the fans just as, as much as they need us. So uh, I'm excited to play, play my best that I can for the fans and, and, and work as hard as I can to be the best player I can for Mahe Cali.